Get that racket back early. Focus on the ball. Follow through. If you do that, you know, it sucks when your revenue tanks or when your revenue is not growing at the pace you think it's going to be growing for your business or really when your expectations aren't met in your career. Reminds me of a situation when, when I was younger. I used to be one of the best tennis players in the South. Got a tennis scholarship to college, played there, and, and was one of the best there. And I didn't win all the time. A lot of times I would lose. You know what my coach would tell me? Go back to the basics. Go back to the basics. And so I started thinking, tennis is just like business or really life. If you go back to the basics, think about what my tennis coach was saying. Get that racket back early. Focus on the ball. Follow through. If you do that, then you'll be able to hit the ball and figure out what you need to do. So the preparation, whenever you have that uncertainty of going, man, do I really have what it takes to grow my business, to take it to the next level. You gotta go back and think about taking your racket back. Are you prepared? Are you prepared for what you want? So many of us are not prepared. Just like when I would go into that tennis match. I would go into a tennis match without doing much practice on my serve or backhand or volley or whatever it was. And I would expect a different outcome that happened, but I wasn't prepared. So are you prepared? Really, are you? The next thing is, is you gotta focus on where the ball is actually going. Like Wayne Gretzky always says, skate where the puck is. Same thing in tennis. You got to anticipate where the ball's going and focus on that ball. That ball is your goal. And too many of us fall into business by accident, accidental entrepreneurs. And we don't have that focus. We don't know where we're going, right? Someone asked us to do something cool, so we decided to do something cool, <laughs> right? It's, you know, it's, it's all over the place. And so when you get that focus, then you know what to say no to, what to say yes to. The next thing is, is once you have your goals and you know what to focus on, now you have to follow through, execute, right? You have to execute. And if you have the preparation, you have the focus of where the goal is going, where the business is going, and you execute, how can you lose? Sure, you're not going to be right all the time, and you can learn from it, and then you can do it again. But whenever you're going through tough times, think about going back to the basics. You know, I just got off a call with one of my great clients doing very well, and he's growing very quick. I mean, hiring more people, um, you know, to keep up with the demand that, that he's generated. And literally, he was like, well, what kind of system do I need to create to manage these people. And we went back to the basics. I said, surprise them. Since you're out of the loop with, you know, you're, they're not direct reporting to you because they set up the right system, set up the right structure, so he can actually go do what he loves, lead the company with the vision and the direction. I said, surprise them, call them up. Tell, tell your employees that you appreciate them. Tell them where the ship is actually going with the vision. Go back to the basics. And we've even done this. And so we've just gone back to the basics. And I'm gonna tell you one thing that I want you to go do and look at that we overlooked. We overlooked a huge audience segment for us. And it was huge. And it was pointed out by, by um, Stacy, who works for me, brilliant, brilliant person, and said, you know, what about the agency owner that's under 300,000? Or what about that freelancer that doesn't want to uh, do everything themselves, and they want to be able to take on high-paying clients, but have the time and not be a prisoner of their business, or for that marketing professional that is just tired of the corporate world, or for that agency employee that works for that agency that knows they can do a better job if they started an agency. And so in the past, two weeks, we've been brainstorming back and forth of what to do. And so we've created this program called jumpstartmyagency.com. And we'll put a link uh, in the description in a little bit. But if you're an agency owner under 300,000 in revenue, 
wanting a clear direction of what to do, or you're a freelancer that doesn't want to do everything themselves and be able to grow and scale their business, or a marketing professional that knows how to do digital really well, but wants the help and guidance and the step-by-step -step process, then you need to check out jumpstartmyagency.com because it's a four-week live training with me. So one of the, <clears throat> excuse me, one of the best ways I've found in learning and catapulting myself to the next level is through mentors and mentors that have been there where I can tap on them. And the reason why I'm doing this live, uh, our first one is going to be October 25th. And I don't know if we're going to do a second one. We'll see how it goes. We want to make sure that we give you all the tools you need in order to walk away with $20,000 plus engagements, right? What would your life look like if you could have those engagements that are over 20,000? What would life look like if you weren't totally dependent on referrals? Or what would life look like if you weren't stressed and you had the flexibility and you had that opportunity for going forward? That's what this program is all for, and it's live. And I hope a lot of you check it out if you fit that criteria.